Hello guys, in this video we are going to see about planning and organizational structure. Let's see what it is about. This structure includes methods to organize projects and various team participation in those projects. We need to consider two structures for planning, namely project structure, team structure. First, we are going to see about a project structure. It is a method of organizing software engineering tasks. There are three project structures, namely project format, functional format and matrix format. Firstly, project format. Here a team of people conduct a project from start to finish that is analysis to maintenance. The next one is functional format. Here a different time of programmers perform each phase of the project. Work product pass from team to team requires more communication among teams. Lastly comes matrix format. Here different teams of programmers perform different phase of the project. Each development project as a project manager. A team can be involved into two or more projects. The next structure we are going to see is team structure. Team structure defines internal structure of the team. Let's see about its type. First is egoless team. Here, team leadership rotates among group member. Secondly comes democratic team. Here, one team member is designated team leader and leadership does not rotate among members. The structure will be many employees will work under a leader. Requires horizontal communication among team members. Well suited for difficult, long term research and development projects. Next is Chief Programmer Team. This team consists of Chief Programmer, a backup engineer. 2 to 5 programmers and a librarian. Here everyone will be working under the chief programmer. A chief programmer designs the product and makes major technical decisions. A backup engineer supports the senior engineer in these activities and sometimes may replace senior engineer. The programmer write code, debug, unit test and document it. Only vertical communication is allowed here. Lastly, we are going to see about hierarchical team. This team consists of a major project leader, 5 to 7 senior programmers and 5 to 7 junior programmers. The project leader assigns tasks, attend reviews, detect problems, balance workload and finally will participate in technical activities. Here senior programmers work under a team leader and junior programmers will work under a senior programmers. It requires both horizontal and vertical communications. Next, we are going to see about document and reviews. As the project evolves, it is difficult to identify the resource extended to predict schedule delays. Establishing milestones, review points and documents can improve project visibility. 
In each phase of development, documentation and review take place. In analyze phase, system definition, project plan, software requirement specification, preliminary user's manual, preliminary verification plan or documented. The product feasibility and software requirement are reviewed. In design phase, architectural design, detailed design specification, users manually, software verification plan or documented and preliminary design review and critical design review is made. In development phase, source code is documented and walkthrough and inspections are done. In testing phase, acceptance plan is documented and acceptance test review is made. In the installation phase, installation instructions, training aids, user manual are documented. And finally, the product review is delivered. Yes, we have come to the end of the video. If you missed out for previous videos, please do check it out. Until then, goodbye.